Hey what's up guys my name is Rohul Modi and welcome to another Photoshop video tutorial and before I start the tutorial I would like to thank you guys for helping me pass like 150 subscribers so it feels really good and you guys are really awesome I mean it's it's really great to have like 150 members on my channel now you guys rock so today's tutorial is going to about creating winter effect like snow particles are falling we have a really cool blue tone and also how to remove this green color from the grass so let's get started so we are inside photoshop and let me show you again what the final output is going to look like so this is the final output as you can see here and to be honest it looks really cool i mean you get that cool snow no okay whatever okay to start i'm gonna copy this image so i'm gonna press ctrl a and ctrl c to copy it and then i'm gonna press ctrl n to create new document and paste this image by pressing ctrl v so let's go to our layer here and i'm gonna create a new adjustment layer so first one is vibrance and i'm gonna remove some colors from the layers which are already saturated so I'm gonna remove a few colors. Let's see here uh, what is the value minus 29 and minus 2. So I'm just gonna paste that here. Minus 29 and minus 2. The reason why I did that I'm just gonna show you right now. So uh, I'm gonna go to like okay it's hue and saturation now. So I'm gonna create another layer and select hue and saturation. Now I want to remove all those green colors here as you can see and those yellow leaves uh, so for that I'm gonna first of all go to yellows okay let's go with yellows and here as you can see uh, let me turn on this layers in the yellows I have like plus 84 lightness and plus 23 saturation so 23 saturation and 84 lightness okay we did it on master so yes I suck sometimes so let's go to yellow and 24 and going to add like 84 so why I did that okay the saturation is to preserve some colors and make it still we don't want to make it black and white so that's why and lightness uh, like making that color total white so you see it's dark it's bright you get that see it's really easy I mean people just say anyway that Photoshop is complicated it's super easy thing you know so let's go to green and this time I have plus 13 and 31 this number doesn't matter so as you can see I, I was just playing with it so in the greens I'm gonna use plus 13 and 31 so okay this time I'm gonna select green first so 13 and in the lightness I'm gonna use 31 so and and also red so let's see the numbers in the red okay everything is default just 39 and when I boost the red color you can see uh, okay 40 uh, this looks like pretty neat to me I mean uh, if I like remove this vibrance layer here as you can see it's like super saturated and it looks not that good but that vibrance layer is helping to preserve those colors okay I don't know what I just said but yeah it helps to like make it look better and after that uh, we have like let's go back to hue saturation and in the greens I'm gonna make it like even brighter and I'm not gonna make it saturated and in the yellows see when I copy numbers sometimes I'm not just satisfied so sorry for that I think this looks fine and after that uh, create another layer so these are the snow particles and I'm gonna show you how to create them inside Photoshop real quick so create a blank layer fill in black color and after that go to filter noise and add noise uh, in the noise I'm gonna use like average noise maybe 100 and make sure it's Gaussian and monochromatic if you don't use monochromatic it's gonna be colorful and I have never seen colorful snow though I would love to but I have never seen any so I'm gonna go with white color and hit ok 
go to filter and this time filter gallery and in the filter gallery go to brush strokes and I'm gonna select no not in the sketch I forgot sketch it was sketch and chalk and charcoal and I'm gonna just zoom out a bit and we cannot see anything right now but okay why we cannot see anything let's go to let's go back filter gallery and in the department sketch I'm gonna select chalk and okay I have this already here so I will have to delete them see now this looks fine uh, you can always play with like numbers until you are satisfied these numbers are like always different in every like every time I create anything so make sure that it looks something like this don't worry about the numbers so I'm gonna hit OK and let's just put this layer on screen blend mode so we have this really good particles here and after that go to filter blur and motion blur so it will feel like they're falling from certain angle so distance is like don't make it like super long otherwise they just don't look good so I'm gonna go with like six uh, no seven eight 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 looks fine to me see the difference it makes okay now I want to remove those particles from her face so I'm gonna apply a layer mask and I'm gonna select my brush tool and make sure my color is black and after that I'm gonna paint on her face so it will hide all the particles from her face and looks fine to me let's create another type of particles which are a little bigger and fluffier so I'm gonna as always fill in black color go to filter noise and add some noise and this time I'm gonna use way too much noise I mean too much so hit OK go to filter and same process filter gallery but instead of charcoal this time I'm gonna use maybe cut out no it doesn't look good dry brush okay yeah it was this one I remember and everything is like total full you can use like this texture button but I'm pretty sure this is not useful right now so this is not looking really good right now but uh, you might don't know but you can actually duplicate your filter in the same palette so if I press this button here so it will duplicate my dry brush filter and see now we have articles that looks like snow and if you want even smaller you can just duplicate it so yeah, this looks fine to me I'm gonna hit just okay and after that I'm gonna put this layer on screen mode layer mode as always and after that apply a layer mask select brush black color and paint over her face I'm gonna leave those on her hair because they are looking like pretty good if you want to make it even powerful you can just press ctrl J duplicate it so it will make it powerful but we don't need one so go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and apply enough blur to make them like really good fluffy Mm, this looks fine to me see difference it makes and if you want even more particles in particular area what you can do is duplicate your layer delete this layer mask right click delete layer mask and after that press ctrl D and scale them so they will like really big particles now and hit enter so we have now really good variation in particles so I'm gonna apply a layer mask and remove these things from her face okay now let's see the next step so we are done with vibrance saturation and particles now this is color balance bye bye and in the color balance uh, make sure you don't have selected this preso luminosity Shit. oh bad word and after that uh, go to I'm gonna start with like shadows so I have minus 3 and plus 65 so create a new layer and uh, what was it color balance and minus 3 okay first of all select shadows and see I haven't checked it minus 3 and plus 65 after that let's go to midtones and in the midtones I have minus 18 5 and 15 so let's go to minus 18 uh, 5 and 15 after that 
let's go back again and this time in the highlights highlights minus 53 nothing else so in the highlights I'm gonna use minus 53 and we are good to go maybe I'm gonna add some yellow no it doesn't look really good I think I will go back to my hue saturation layer and this time in the yellows I'm gonna add some saturation mm, slight not way too much and again in the greens slight okay see sometimes I also have to change like go back and see where is the problem and after that I'm gonna what I have done wipe runs okay uh, this is really cool trick to bring some focus on your object so create a new layer and select wipe runs and turn down vibrance a bit so we lose some colors but uh, select your mask tool and remove this color like remove this effect from her face so when I will turn it on and off uh, see here we have like really good focus on her and also from her head a bit and after that if you think effect is strong you can always turn down opacity a bit so I'm gonna go like uh, this looks fine okay after that uh, let's see uh, brightness contrast and curves so I'm gonna create another layer and this time I'm gonna use curves now first of all brightness contrast and I'm gonna add some contrast and this is the same thing what we did like uh, in vibrance but this time I'm gonna remove it from all over place like I'm gonna press Ctrl I so it will hide everything on the layer and then I'm gonna press uh, paint like with white color and select your brush tool and paint only on her so this will affect only her face nothing else and this is like way too strong so I'm gonna remove some contrast see it helps to bring attention to her face and also looks pretty good so this far we are going like pretty good and uh, curves and again brightness contrast so okay not this one this one create a new layer and curves and in the curves I'm gonna do nothing but just gonna put this layer on overlay and it looks way too strong I know but just press select your bra what do we call it mask <laughs> just like nervous a bit so I'm gonna press ctrl I and uh, paint on this portion with really soft brush only on the edges nothing else I mean nowhere else and then turn down opacity a bit so it doesn't look like super strong so this is looking fine and now the final step create another layer and I'm gonna select brightness and contrast and add like way too much brightness so I know it's looking like super bright but don't worry about that I'm gonna reduce the opacity like to maybe 10 to 15 looks fine 16 is good so we have overall like really good things and the effect is done but I might go back to again hue saturation and man I it took me like one and a half hours to figure out proper colors and it's just like 10 minutes tutorial so it can maybe be difficult to like show you guys how I did that but you guys probably get the idea how I did that so I'm gonna make it like maybe 90 percent and that's pretty much it so this is really easy to do and if you have any questions or queries uh, that I did not explain or you have confusion about you can ask me in the comment section and if you want some future updates you can always subscribe to my channel so you can get all the updates and again thanks for watching guys and for your support you guys are awesome again so goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.